feel the difference, as they say. Hello, YouTubers! My name is NixV. You're on the channel for those who love inline skating and wants to progress in it. And today we will be talking about the sizes of the wheels. I have a lot to say about it because I've switched from my 80s to my 125s not a long time ago and practiced different setups a lot. But before just talking, let's make some action. And for that action, I've made like this. Yeah. I will try to feel the difference in real time. I will need my head for analysis afterwards, so I need to put on a helmet. By the way, by the way, write in the comments how do I look prettier in the helmet or without it. And now let's go. That feels weird. Well, I won't be showing you all the session with that unnatural setup. But I have to say that I did really feel the difference. That's funny. First of all, the 125mm wheels are much higher and also much heavier. I didn't feel a significant difference in a free roll on one foot, but the push feels much more powerful on 125s. The push. I feel the push better on that leg. I was tilted to one side, so crossovers to that side were great, but the ones to the other side were tricky enough. The parallel turn is okay, but crossovers, uh, crossovers requires some lifting. I was like Maradona, you know he had a different length of legs. Power stop works fine. Maneuverability on one and on the other. Yeah, of course, small wheels is better as expected. I've also tried some cautious jumps and power slides. But yeah, I have to always keep in mind that the one leg is longer than the other. And the power slide with the shorter rolling foot was amazing, right. but the other side was awful. That's right. Because I had to squat on the rolling foot much more and couldn't catch that difference in height. As expected. One fall was enough for me here. Let's move on to more talking parts. But some backwards before. It feels okay. Hope it was interesting to watch. But not useful at all. So what are my final thoughts on both setups? I am usually very cautious talking about the speed of big wheels. Yes, they are faster. The wheels are faster because it's a simple physics, but that doesn't really mean that the skater on big wheels will be faster than the skater on the 80 mm. A lot depends on skills, not on the generic skills, but on skills in skating big wheels. These things are rather cumbersome, they are like skis, very stable and not that agile. It's difficult to turn on them, it's difficult to control the edge properly, it gives a lot of loads on the ankles during the jumps and it actually requires you to move a little bit different from the 80mm skates. And for the purposes of city skating it can become very crucial. You know city skating is full of stops, full of turns, full of braking. And these things they are moving pretty fast. They are getting to the highest speed pretty fast. And if you need to stop immediately it will be more difficult on them. Even if you are getting more speed while simply cruising, when you have to use more maneuverable, more tricky skating, they can give some problems to you. 80mm wheels much more universal. They are agile and stable at the same time. They could be used almost in any inline skating discipline. Probably you won't be able to use 125mm or even 110mm for slalom, but 
80mm is great for learner and slalom tricks, they are good at simple flat skating and they are pretty reliable during downhills, especially if they are not rockered. If you are only learning to skate on inline skates, 80mm should be your first choice. But of course you will need more footwork, more initial strides to get to the highest speed. With 125mm a few good pushes is the only thing that you need to feel the real speed to feel how the wind is rushing into your face and starts singing songs through your nostrils. If you want to skate some ground so grassy downhills, 125s should be your choice. They are more stable on those surfaces. But if you want to skate stairs, choose 80mm. Big gaps between the wheels will make it very tricky. Talking about myself, yes, I still prefer bigger wheels, maybe because I have the long legs, maybe because of the feeling of the rope, and maybe just because I I I I big wheels I I I I big wheels I love big wheels I don't lie you other brothers can deny I I big wheels So this is my opinion. I will still be using both setups because they are different and they give me different possibilities. And you can decide to yourself. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. Share the video with all your friends, colleagues, parents and pets. And see you next time. Bye bye. There's one important factor that I forgot to mention. This is the wow factor. If you want to hear that words, whoa, what a big wheels you have, you know what to do. Wow, what a big wheels you have, you have, you have, you have.